What is up guys, Taiki here, and in this video I'll discuss how you can protect your MetaMask wallet from malicious smart contracts. If you like the content, please like and subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section below. So let's get started. So I actually made the same exact video roughly two months ago um, for the Ethereum blockchain, but given how fast my channel is growing and if you're farming on like Matic, you're probably uh, like approving a bunch of smart contracts. So I just want to go over like the risks you're, you're exposing yourselves to and how you can mitigate those risks moving forward. So if you ever do a transaction on any any chain, you've gotten this message before, right? This pop-up where the protocol asks you for permission to spend whatever your token you're swapping. In this case, DAI. Uh, a lot of us, just, we just like confirm without like really, really thinking about it. But if you actually click on this part where it says view full transaction details, you see that the default for all of these smart contract approvals is to grant unlimited permission to spend that coin. And if you're using like a DeFi blue chip like Aave, Sushi, Curve, uh, you probably don't have you probably don't have much to worry about. But what if you're interacting with a smart contract like of like this random degen form or like this speculative project? where you don't, and you don't really understand like, like reading code, right? In that case, there are bad things that like malicious actors can do. Uh, like, a, like a malicious developer can take advantage of this unlimited spend approval and potentially rug your coins. So let me just give a brief horror story on like what actually happened last year uh, in the DeFi summer of 2020. So there was this, you know, this new and hot a project called Unicats, uh, where essentially you stake your uni tokens and you can farm meow tokens. Okay, it's like total memes. Um, but actually, the smart contract contained a sneaky function uh, that actually allowed the developer to drain the user's funds uh, f like directly from the MetaMask wallet from these users. Not only did the project rug pull, they actually stole two hundred thousand dollars of the Uniswap tokens directly from uh, the MetaMask wallet. Right, so they, these people they didn't even have like Uniswap tokens staked on the platform, they just had it sitting, but the developer was able to just rug it directly from them. And those Uni tokens obviously went up from like $4 to $25 to $30 today, which is, you know, worth over $1.5 million today. So, you know, this is like really the opportunity cost of getting rugged because crypto generally goes up. So if you get rugged on your coins, um, if you get rugged on like $1,000 worth of coins, you're, you might actually be getting rugged for like two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 because, you know, if those tokens go up in value, then you just miss up on the upside. So uh, let's go over, you know, moving forward uh, when you're approving smart contracts for the first time, how can you set a custom spend limit uh, for these smart contracts? So whenever you get these pop-ups, you can actually click on the view full transaction details. And instead of like letting it be unlimited, right? If you're using like a shady app, for example, I would set a custom spend limit and only allow a dollar amount that you actually use for the smart contracts. So let's say you're getting into a form and you want to deposit a thousand dollars, right? Well, maybe set the custom spend limit to two thousand because you're gonna want to, you know, put a thousand dollars in and then a thousand dollars out, right? And that way, you're even if you have like, I don't know, fifth, like ten thousand uh, dollars in your in your wallet, you're not really, I guess, at risk for you know getting rugged on those tokens. And keep in mind, like this is very rare and it like rarely happens. And like if you use resources like the Rug Doctor, and if you like use if you're not like totally going the ham on these degen farms, you're probably not like exposing yourself to the risk. However, you know, there is a non-zero chance this can happen. So why not like, you know, protect yourself? But you might be asking like, what if I already approved like unlimited spend for, you know, hundreds of smart contracts, so what can I do? Well, there's this tool on DBank uh, where you can actually revoke token approvals. On the Ethereum blockchain, you can go to etherscan.io slash token approval checker. I'll provide a, a link in the description for both. But let me just go over like a, like a quick tutorial of how to, uh, I guess, revoke smart contracts uh, approvals. So I'm on dbank.com, right? This is dbank.com. And I've already connected my wallet. And you go to the profile tab. And then after you do that, you go to the approval section. Then you can go on all of these chains, but you know, we're interested in Polygon for now, right? And then you can see that, you know, like I'm currently, <laughs> I've, I've approved so many smart contracts in the past just because I was like farming, uh, like I guess in the month of May. And, you know, I, I'm not really worried about like quick swap or, you know, like something like Aave or Curve rugging me. But, you know, there, there are some of these like unknown projects. I'm, this, this is probably from like random farms that I got into. So like, why am I exposing myself like to this risk, right? So let's just look at so let's look at a die, right, for this unknown project, right? And essentially, I've given this project infinite approval, right? So, uh, 
yeah, like this this smart contract uh, has my permission to spend an infinite amount of die, and I don't want that. So let me just decline. Uh, so let me just revoke the smart contract risk, uh, re revoke the approval, and you can see that because Matic has like essentially zero transaction fees, like there's nothing stopping you, and like you you really should just like revoke permission for all of this. So I'll probably do that uh, after I, I make this video, but you know just revoke the smart contracts. And uh, I think when it's done, the site will refresh automatically. And sometimes uh, the website won't up, uh, update immediately, right? Like after it refreshes, like the smart contract might still be there. However, uh, usually there's like a five to 10 minute delay. So um, even if it is there, let me just, okay, so it's refreshing. Let's see if it's there. Okay, so it's still there. However, in 10 to 15 minutes, it will go away. I think it's just like a UI or UX bug, or it just takes time for these things to uh, get revoked. But you know, this is one way that you can um, protect yourself from the smart contract risk, right? So let's wrap up the video. You can do two things. Either you can set a custom spend limit, right? Whenever you're entering these uh, forms or just like, you know, approving tokens in general, or if you've already approved like smart contracts, right? Uh, gave, gave infinite approval, then you can just go to dbank and the, like, revoke permission. So those are two ways that you can protect your MetaMask wallet from malicious smart contracts. If you like the content, please like and subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching and be safe out there.